I have not seen any videos of people talking about this topic because a lot of people are going to tell you a lot of things that are going to discourage you when it comes to your military spouse being deployed. You're going to hear a lot more negative things than positive things, but you need to keep the positive things in your mind and you need to keep the positive, strong minded individuals around you at all times. I love keeping women around me that are married, positive, that have children, they've been through it, done it. Older women, younger women's cool too, but I speak to a lot of older women that have experienced, you know, different things that I'm going through and that have been through some things. So they're able to talk to me, they're able to give me words of encouragement, and I also love to have a lot of God-fearing women around me. So you have to be mindful of that when it comes to your friends, who you have around you, what they're telling you. Are they feeding you positive things or are they feeding you negative things? You know, like, I know a lot of people have those friends. I used to have friends that just party and drink all the time and just chase dudes. That's just all they did. I wasn't never really into that, but I mean, that's just, that's just really what they did. So, and I noticed that that is what I was surrounded with all the time. And I'm like, I'm more than this. Like, I just don't want to just be picking up on men and just drinking all the time and partying. I mean, I did it, but it was like, I feel like I was always out of place because that's just not my field. And I always just envision, even in clubs, I was just envision me being with my family or doing more productive things with my time. Crazy things like your spouse is not going to be faithful to you during this time. Like I was talking to this woman cause I was at my husband's ceremony, right? And this woman told me that she told her son's girlfriend that she needs to take this time just to do her and be free, party, and just enjoy time by herself. And then when her son comes back to pick it back up, but this is the time for her to have fun and to basically just do what single people do. When she said that, I was kind of like, I don't feel like that's good advice, but that's my opinion. She was like, well, if you were me, what would you tell her? And I said, well, to tell her to be productive with her time, spend time with her, you know, family, friends, things that she really liked to do, just pour into that. That's what I told her. And she's like, wow, like, I wish I would have like told her things like that. Cause she was like, if I was a military spouse, I'd be a little bit different. Just give me the debit card and I'm good. I was like, what? So when people, say different things like that it just kind of baffles me because i don't personally i don't think like that so and when i hear people saying like oh like your spouse is not going to be faithful and you know like you just have to just put that in your mind that they're not and that they're going to sleep with other people i'm like bruh who the fuck is i never heard of no shit like that like I, i've never heard of anything like that so when people tell me different things like that i don't think like that like i'm very optimistic and i think about the positive things. So this is how I see it. I'm like, when it comes to me, I'm a very beautiful, fit, loving person, loving wife. I feel like there's bigger things going on in the world. Like I just had my uncle die. I have like different things going on in my life to where I'm not focusing on things that's not, that doesn't matter. When you're in the military, what I'm praying for is everybody to come back home safe, everybody to have a peace of mind because mentally it's gonna take a toll on you most definitely when you're put in an environment that you're not used to so i think think of different things like that so when people come and tell me like negative things like that i just thank god that i'm a strong individual because if i wasn't people's negative thoughts and the way they think it will i would have been torn down by now but i'm god fearing and i just keep prayed up i, I just pray all the time and i'm always I, got, I have really, really tough skin, so it takes a lot to get under me and it takes a lot to mentally get in my head. So when people tell me different things like that, I'm, I'm just like, oh, okay, like I understand. Like, I see your point of view of that. And I'm just like, fuck no, I'm not letting that get in my head because that's poison. I don't want to hear that. So I just want to put out videos so that way people can, you can watch this and see that there's somebody out here that has nothing but positive things to tell you when it comes to deployment. Yes, there's a lot of negative things people say, but there's a lot of positive things that come out of it. And there's a lot of resources you guys can um, look into and get other, you know, get in contact with other people that are military spouses. Because I've seen a lot of married women that have children. I've seen one, it was just her by herself. And you, she had a wedding ring on and she was there with two of her younger boys. So you have a lot of other people that go through it and they can enlighten and give you a lot of positive things. Just those negative things that you hear, like, you know, people saying, oh, well, you can just take his money and do this, or he's going to be doing that, so why be faithful to him? Or, 
she's gonna be doing that so why be faithful to her do your thing i don't want to hear no shit like that so i'm putting this video out to tell you that you are going to come across people that are going to fill your mind and try to fill your mind with poison but you have to be mindful that that's just the devil and you have to be strong and really take this time to okay like during this time i'm just i'm just gonna work on myself i'm gonna work on my well-being i'm gonna work on perfecting my work i'm gonna work on perfecting me being a mother me being a wife i'm gonna work on perfecting my dreams my goals you gotta look on look at different things like that it's just all about your mindset those negative people that's telling you all that negative stuff bro just twin it out don't pay attention to it don't pay attention to it you guys can come back and watch these videos that i put out here and just how i just want to give somebody else I just want to give somebody else a peace of mind. I want you to come back and be like, man, I was having a rough day, but I was was able to come and watch my show's videos. And my show's videos just really uplifted my spirit. It, it really just made me shift my mindset from this dark place to just a bright place. You know, I want, I want to be that for you guys. And I want to share my experiences because the, the shit that I've been hearing, <laughs> I'm just like, how can you even have the audacity to tell people things like that and i know that there's a lot of people that are in dark relationships and that are in dark places because they are with a person that is toxic they're with a narcissist i understand that and they are surrounded around people that are telling them how stupid they are they're surrounded around people that are not lifting their spirits because when you have a low self-esteem and you are put in different situations like this, it will really mess mess you up. Most definitely if you are not confident in, in who you are. When you are confident in who you are and you're like, look, like I am a prize, you know what I mean? The way I am, you know, the person that is, you know, traveling across the world, of the, of the time is not going, the time is just gonna make that person want you more because you are a great person. You know, you are encouraging them. So. I just want to put this video out there and tell you guys, yes, you guys are going to come across people that are going to tell you some things, but please ignore it. And please know that there are good things can come out of tough situations. Let me just tell you that tough, to, tough situations, as long as you look to God, as long as you're reading your scriptures, as long as you are being positive and you're doing the right thing, you best believe that your spouse is going to do the right thing by you. As long as you know that you're doing your part, as long as you know that you're holding up your side of it, they're going to do the same. But you got to have that mindset. You got to think like that.